We are live with Joshua Thompson. Uh, we're talking about Loyalist House. Um, Loyalist House is, it's a really interesting spot. I really like it. Um, and that might sound like a banal thing to say, but you, um, you know, you're standing, uh, you're standing just across the street. You've got a uh, 20 something story office building, 20 something story office building, a multi-level mall with pedways. Yes. And, and then right in the you've middle. got this, <laughs> this old mansion just yeah. sitting there on the corner. Yeah. It's and quite symbolic. It, it is. It is, yeah, and it's, uh, you know, I, I, went to, I went to high school uptown, born and raised in St. John, and it's sort of always been there. It's, uh, it's as unchangeable as the tides. Very much. Yeah. Here's yes, a question for you. Have you been inside the, the Lotus Test? Um, you know, I should say yes, because I think that would be the right thing to say, <laughs> but I'd be lying. And I know I've, I've never, never been, been inside the Lotus Test. I'm sure there's many, many people in St. John and have, surrounding areas that have never been. I actually have been in yeah. this, yes. Like your your uh, your business would overlook it. That's right. Yes, I'm in the tower beside it. Yeah. So yes, I, it does. I, I actually look right into the second level. <laughs> you have a nice view. Yes, I think there's people in there myself sometimes when it's closed. Um, I'm going to ask you about that in a minute. But yes, okay. <laughs> so I'm um, 200 years old. Yes, this year. 200 older than years. Canada. Yes, it is. It's older than Canada by 50 years. Wow, that's something. Yes. It, the construction it was began, middle aged by the time Canada was founded. <laughs> yes, yes. And it, the construction began in 1810. Right. And it was after the Loyalists first arrived in St. John in 1783. And there was a family known as the Mayer family. They okay. originally came from Rye, New York, right. during the American Revolution. And so they, there was a son, and his name was David Daniel Merritt. And he purchased uh, property that was just within the city limits at the time. And everyone asked him, "Why are you building a city? Why are you, why are you building a house out in the sticks?" Yeah. <laughs> well, the city ended up being built around the house. Right. And wow. it took seven years to finish. And why do you think that is? Um, some sort of disruption around well, the War of 1812. War of 1812, yeah. exactly. If I, if I had yes. To guess. <laughs> yes, it was the War of 1812, yeah. and it was finally finished in 1817. So, right. 2017, coincidentally, is the 200 years for Loyalist House. So, Loyalist House 200 in Canada 150. Right. That's amazing. And year. it is sometimes called Merritt House. As yes, well. it is yeah. the Merritt Home. Yes, that would be the uh, that would be the proper name for it. Yes. It's Loyalist House. I mean, it is a Loyalist House, but a bit of a misnomer. I mean, they didn't all live there. No. no. That, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Not, not the Loyalist Hostel. Yes, no, not the Loyalist Hostel. Yeah. The, uh, the name Loyalist House, that came around when the New Brunswick Historical Society sure. um, took the house over in 1958. And at that point, they designated the house a National Historic Site. Wonderful. And in 1961, it was first opened to the public as the Loyalist House. Right. And because of St. John's known rich history um, with Loyalists, that is why I think they decided on the name the Loyalist House. So they'd have a, 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 you know, a building, a centered place someone could go to to learn about you know, our own city's heritage. And Loyalist is very much a part of that. Absolutely. Yeah, very well, and it's interesting that you mentioned that um, you know, the, the builders of the house were, were ridiculed a little bit for building their house out in the middle of nowhere. Yes. And, you know, up the, up the road a little bit is the Loyalist burial ground. And yes, it is. People walking around uptown will sometimes say, you know, why would they put this cemetery in the middle of downtown? <laughs> But for all intents and purposes, I mean, that was Sussex Corner to, That's right. to 19th century exactly. St. John's. Exactly. The city was kind of the southern peninsula. Right. The city was down towards the water. And the house was actually known as the House on the Hill back in the day. <laughs> and they had quite a view. Because yeah. if, if you stand inside the Loyalist House, now, of course, you see the high rises. But at one point, they'd see right down to the water. Oh, is that right? So they That's had quite a lovely view at one point. Wow. That you don't necessarily think of that because of her high rises. So they had a very, it was a very strategic point. Yeah. It was called, it was the house on the hill. 